Now over here, there's an inspection lamp inside the base. And I've just uh, previously took it out to have a look. And it says it's 125 dash 15 watts, so I guess that's 125 volts, 15 watts. So, well, I've done a continuity test and it's probably working, although it's pretty smoked up inside. Um, it'd be quite fun to have that going. Hmm, 125 volts. Well, I don't think I'll be using that voltage for anything else, so um, probably have to be a new bulb holder if I decide on this uh, inspection lamp as being a necessity, we shall see. For the inspection lamp, I've got this little 3 watt LED array cob, and this, I've sourced a suitable driver for that, cheap, cheap enough. I've got to make a little fitting for that so that I can fix that inside the base of the machine. So leaving the motor for a moment, I thought, what about hand cranking so that I can at least run my film through and see what I've got. And one turn of this turns around eight frames, which is fine, two turns for this side of the movie speed of 16, more or less. So the um, thing is, that's not very convenient on the back there. And also, I kind of really need a flywheel on there. So. I drilled a hole in this um, one pound weight. And that wasn't without incident. But we'll draw a veil over that. So anyway, that succeeded. And I've got some six millimeter steel rod. And I have to find a way to fix that to the rod. I think that will be okay. Um, so that will go somewhere around there and then I handle this end to turn and a tooth belt from there to there and I think I think we should be in business in terms of uh, hand cranking I've got, got a suitable tooth belt so it should be long enough for that, hopefully. Yeah, I think I think that's going to go, okay. And then there is drive pulleys. So we'll give it a go. Now with the help of some old Meccano, should be able to put something together. So here's the setup. Um, this is 36 teeth. That's 40, the winding handle. Now, you should really have them the other way around to make starting a little easier, but that would mean I have to turn the handle more to get the right frames a second. So I'll leave that as it is. Also, the spindle holes are slightly different size. So we'll leave that as it is. In order to use this with a motor, well, currently, two turns of this gives 16 frames a second. So per minute, it's two turns in one second, so it's two times 60, or 120 turns revolutions per minute. So it's 120 RPM hand cranking, gives about the right speed. Now the motor is not going to be 120 RPM, it's going to be at least 1200, 10 times as much. So I've got to increase the size of this 36 tooth wheel to at least 360 teeth, or 400. Uh, in order to get the same kind of ratio using a motor. If the motor is faster, that will enable us to get up to 24 frames a second, which would be good. Um, we've also got to bear in mind that the coated 
motor speed might be without load so that's going to slow down so all in all some thinking to do but one thing's for sure is that to use it with a motor this has got to be a very much bigger pulley if I can't find a toothed pulley that will do that at the right size um, because the torque will be much less with that bigger pulley for the motor to pull then I might get away with a leather driving belt in which case I can find any pulley that's about the right size a drive pulley with a fixing screw that is three wheel pulleys are easy to find but the large drive pulleys are, tend to be expensive so anyway I'll play around with that in order to fix this flywheel to the shaft I've just glued some Kevlar to the side of the flywheel with a tab then being taped to the shaft now that might seem a bit unlikely, but it works fine. Well, it's not too enthusiastic at the moment, but I think it might just work. So if I arrange a proper handle for this and uh, tidy everything up, we'll see if it still goes. Put the lamp house back as it should be. Touch of paint here and there. I think I've got the arms on wrong. It should be the other way. I'll just swap those over. Find a driving belt for the take up. Scrum driving belt preferably and then we'll put a film on here and see what happens could be a couple of weeks maybe maybe even three or four got some other projects that take priority at the moment